potatoes can be waxy or starchy. Starchy ones make the best chips because they go really fluffy inside, but waxy ones like this are the best for salads because like their name, waxy, they have that lovely sort of sticky texture and they're going to be really great for what I'm cooking tonight. New potatoes like this just need a quick wash. They're just so fresh. Some of them are bigger than the others, so what I want to do is cut the big ones, make them all roughly the same size, and that way they'll cook evenly. I use a kilo and a half of new potatoes, and I boil them in lightly salted water for 10 minutes. You want them so that they're just starting to soften. Now the thing that makes these potatoes really special it's just a clever little trick. By breaking up the edges of them and the tops of them with a fork, you get this lovely texture on the top that's going to go really crunchy. Drizzle over a couple of tablespoons of olive oil, a sprinkle of salt, and the leaves from two sprigs of fresh thyme. I just love the fact that I can make this well ahead of time. And then when my guests come, I can just whack it into a hot oven to get lovely and crispy. And there you have it, crunchy baby potatoes, everyone's favorite. There's nothing like sneaking down to the orchard for a fresh peach, they're just irresistible. And you can tell it's ripe, you just squeeze in the top of it here, not down the bottom, but in the top, the heel of the fruit. And if it's got a wee bit of give, you know it's ready. You'll also be able to tell because it will smell unbelievably intensely aromatic. These gorgeous peaches make the finishing touch to my panna cotta. And I'm going to mix them with some passion fruit. Finely dice two peaches and mix together with the pulp of four passion fruit and a teaspoon of honey. Spoon a little on top of each panna cotta just before you serve. Mmm, how good is that? The last thing I've got to do is to cook these beautiful fresh green beans and I just take the stems off and sometimes there's a bit of a string there so that will come off at the same time and they go into a pot of boiling water for about three minutes. Once they're ready I just pop them in a pan with a little olive oil, a zest of lemon, salt and pepper and a splash of water. Stir fry for a couple of minutes and they're good to go. Just like that, so easy, I love it. Hello, hello, my favorite beekeeper. Good to see you again. Oh, nice to see you. Louise. Yeah, how are you doing? Very well yeah. indeed, I love a good party, darling. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what a gorgeous afternoon. No. We're drinking very nice. Yeah, last. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't let the rocket blow yeah. away. It's really yeah. wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Happy eating. Well, it's just alcohol. yogurt that you put in a sieve for 24 hours and it turns into it with some salt and it makes it cheesy. Right. Good. Right. Good choice, Anna. Thank you very much. Just, just dog today. <laughs> <laughs> It's going into dust and stuff. And I just put and oregano and salt. Oh, thank you. My this fingers are now, but it was a milk panna cotta. This is so, Annabel, is that the honey I can taste in the panna cotta? Some of Reese's delicious honey that we got. Oh, I'm a good user of your product. And I made it to you. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's just the flavour I did a very naughty <laughs> trade, actually. I gave him a tiny little <laughs> jar of my pizza in exchange for a whomping great jar of this honey. <laughs> What a brilliant day that was, visiting Reese and his bees, collecting some of their divine honey for our dinner, and sharing it all together around the table tonight.